Hello, welcome to Coco Candle Channel. Um, I just thought of um, sharing with you what's inside my makeup box. Um, I'm not really a, a beauty guru, but I love um, using makeup. So let me show you the products that I'm using. It's not that big like those big beauty gurus there, but I don't know. I just I just want to show it to you. Okay, so let's start with the foundation. Uh, for the foundation, I use um, multiple brands. And this is one of my favorites. It's from Chanel. It's called uh, Vita Lumiere. And what I like about this product is that there's still quite quite a lot, I, I think. And uh, what I like about this product is it's um, very smooth when you apply it um, onto your skin. And also, it gives you a certain radiance. It just glows. Um, and gives you that uh, youthful look. <laughs> okay, I'm still, I'm not yet very, I'm not yet old, but I don't know, when I apply that, I look younger. And there's just this um, things that I bought from Boots. It's called um, 17 Photo, 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 photo Flaw Flawless Foundation. Sorry, it's, uh, I'm, I'm really tired, just got back from work, so I just decided to do this. It's supposed to be, um, it should last for 24 hours. I did try this, and yes, it's pretty much uh, true to what it says. It did last, not 24 hours, but it lasted like more than 12 hours at least. So I'm happy with that. And this is also from Seventeen. It's called Miracle Matte um, Foundation, Matte Satin Flawless Skin Finish up to 16 hour shine control so it also has SPF 15 so it depends on my mood sometimes I use this sometimes this sometimes this so it really depends and um, for I just bought this today it's a Garnier uh, BB eye roll if you I think it's not a conceal it's not a concealer but it's supposed to hide the the ring the black ring around your eyes and it's supposed to give you some beauty radiance as well i have here a select cover cash whatever you probably pronounce it a mac it's a, it's a concealer and this one is uh, almost finished and i'm just loving that so as you can see, I don't have one single brand. I mix and match. And this is also another concealer. It says can make cover and stretch concealer. And it has UV coverage and it's waterproof. So this one I have to try. I have not tried that yet. This is just a local brand. It's called Rose Lady. It's supposed to be a cover foundation. Um, they suggested that I use this as a concealer as well or foundation. It depends. But I find it a little bit white for my skin tone. And as you know, there are so many creams out there. And this one is the Can Make Smooth Skin Primer. It's supposed to cover your pores. And also, it's matte. So it can be a makeup base. Um, it can be a retouch base or all-in-one base. So this is made in Japan. I have just bought this today, so tomorrow I'll, I'll give it a try whether it's going to to give me that full coverage these are some Japanese products that I'm loving as well um, this one is also can make um, powder eyeliner in brown and in black it's so easy to apply this um, when you open it and when you see the brush that comes with it it's very soft to the touch so when you apply it it's very just glides on it's just perfect for the for your eyeliner on the upper part and also the lower part but I don't usually put in the lower part I just use only in the upper part <clears throat> here as you can see I've almost finished this particular eyebrow um, color as well so it's almost gone so what I've purchased today is a replacement of that. I'm just not sure whether I bought the same shade. But this is also a Can Make Powder Eyebrow in two-toned. So I think 
it's kind of light so I'm not sure whether I'll be able to use this or not but I'm loving those um, Japanese made products so and this is just um, this is an old one for the eyebrow as well okay so for foundation sorry not foundation for for a compact I'm also using this natural color 17 super fine foundation powder when you open it it has a sponge inside and it's just a normal um, natural color so usually I apply the the concealer and then the foundation and then sometimes I use primer underneath but and then I top it with this particular foundation and this this I'm loving this it's 17 miracle matte loose powder it's supposed to control the the oiliness of my skin sometimes in my t-zone I get very oily but not very much not that much and you might see some really old products here and this is a MAC that I use as a primer so primer is supposed to help you I think men help you keep your makeup longer and it's supposed to give you some radiance and some shine as well and this is from Smashbox it looks awful but um, because a little goes a long long way it's not it's supposed to be uh, give you some artificial light glossiness to your skin until now I've not figured out how to use that but it's always hit or miss for me and of course I still have those original um, MAC um, Studio Perfect SPF 15 foundation from MAC and for this particular um, I don't know what shade I'm using it's supposed to be okay I don't know I don't know I don't and this one broke in one of my travels but this is really so nice as well it's supposed to be uh, a skin finish natural um, mineralized from MAC and this is the ever reliable Bobbi Brown brush that I use for all my my foundation so I clean the, all my brushes um, quite often so that I'll be able to maintain it. So for the eyeshadow, I as you can see, I love this brand. It's Can Make Perfect Brown Eyes. It's made in Japan. So this is pretty new. I'll use it tomorrow. It's supposed to have perfect brown eyes. So you have four shades of brown for, for the palette. So I'm pretty excited to use this tomorrow. And this is just an old makeup I have from, I think this is uh, Maybelline eye studio I don't know it's it's pretty old but it's just a brown thing and this one is from L'Occitane it's uh, it's very nice it's very um, on the pink side so you have you can blend this is the purple the rose and then the slight slight um, pink and then this is the highlighter so I'm loving this as well and I have my very old um, Chanel so when you open it it's quite dirty but at least you have a full set so you have the lipstick obviously I've only used this particular lipstick and then for this one is a blush so this one I am loving the color and then uh, I'm just starting to learn how to blend um, because I'm not really an, an expert makeup person but I'm starting Okay, so the only lipstick that I use, it's actually from Burt's Bees. It's um, shade in rhubarb. It's a lip shimmer, so I love that because it moisturizes your, your lips and, and also adds a, a faint um, red color to it. So this is a local brand. It's a lip balm. It's called Coco Lip. So it's all natural. There's coconut. There's um, um, different... 100% natural product so anyway it's just one of those things another lip another one from L'Occitane I'm loving this it's a lip balm in rose and okay I have this thing um, I use this for my lips it's supposed to be a sugar for the lips so if you want to buff and to remove the dry skin then you just apply a little bit a little tiny bit of that and then you'll be able to have, uh, you will improve your your lips. 
So as you, as you can see, I love Burt's Bees. I don't know why I have three. Maybe I use open it up all at the same time. So it's my fault. And then for... Okay, it's so dirty. This is for my mascara. I just use Maybelline and Revlon. And I think that's about it. So for the blush, I have here a uh, L'Oreal a blush. And last but not the least, I have here some more for the eyebrows because my eyebrow is really very thin. So this is the highlighter at this end and this is the brow pencil. So there you have it. Um, the makeup that I'm using today. Okay, so if you're interested to do this video as well, can you just show me what's inside your makeup kit or can you just show me what makeup you use so that at least um, I'll get some tips from you as well. Okay, bye-bye. Have a nice day.